Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net. And today we're gonna to take a look at the aspect ratio preset. Now, how it works is you can create a new adjustment layer. And then you come over to the video copilot presets, go down to the aspect ratio. And there's a couple of them in here. You got the 1.85, 16 by nine, and a 2.4 film. And what you do is you take it and you drag it onto that adjustment layer and it trims the top and the bottom off, creating a nice letterbox. Now, this works with pretty much any kind of footage, whether it's widescreen footage already, 16 by nine footage or DV footage, even if it has a pixel aspect ratio of 0.9 or 1.2 or anything like that, it bases the, uh, the trimming on the size of the comp. So in this case, the comp is 1280 by 720 and it's square pixels. So you can see right here, this aspect ratio is 16 by nine. Now 2.4, is a little more intense and that's why we're seeing the letterbox. But if I delete that and apply the 16 by nine preset, you'll see nothing happens. And that's because the footage is already 16 by nine. Now, of course, you can customize this as needed. You just change the aspect ratio. So uh, you can do three if you want something uh, pretty wild. Um, also, I'll point out too, the good thing about using an adjustment layer is you can take your clip and drag it down and reframe it up depending on your shot. And so that's kind of a nice feature. And also if you have, you know, multiple edits, you know, you can go through and match up the eye level and stuff um, since you have that extra room on the top and the bottom. So that's one benefit of letterboxing uh, footage. Um, also, we have a uh, calculation right here. It's called the FX new height. So say you like the aspect ratio and you actually want to render it out, but you don't want to render out the bars. You just want a quick time movie. That's just this inside area. Well, the new height calculation is 426. So we go composition settings and you change the height to that number 426. Now you can round up or down. Usually I round down just because pixels, uh, you don't want like a black pixel at the top or the bottom. So you choose okay and the comp automatically cuts itself to that range and then you can also reframe your video, um, but it will leave it at whatever it was before. So as you can see, if I go back and forth by undoing it, um, pretty cool. Also, it works with other types of footage. So here we have DV 720 by 480 and you can see the aspect ratio is 0.9. I'll drag that into a new comp and what I can do is take my pixel aspect ratio. Um, another fast way to apply it is just drag it out, not onto the layer, but just on the outside of the comp area, and it creates a new solid. And then you just click on the adjustment layer switch, and that way it's just like creating a new adjustment layer, but you don't have to actually do it. So real quick, drag it into the blank area, turn on the adjustment layer switch, and then, you know, at any time, you don't have to use these presets. I just made them, but you can change it to 2.4 or do a Google search and find out what the uh, cool hip aspect ratio is and use it instead. Um, but I got to say, uh, it took some doing to figure this one out um, with the whole pixel aspect ratio business, but uh, uh, I'm pretty proud of it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy uh, turning all your footage into cool cinematic scenes. Um, oh, and I will point out that the transparency actually works because that sort of cuts out the background. So just be careful, make sure that this is on top of your footage. And also here's the pixel aspect ratio correction button. So with 0.9 pixel aspect ratio footage, it um, shows up as square pixels, but on a TV, it sort of squishes them down. And so by turning this on, you can see what it will look like on a TV, and by turning it off, you can see just pixel for pixel. And then one other kind of cool uh, tip, it doesn't seem to be a problem here, but uh, sometimes on some of your footage, what you'll see is sort of a uh, aliased line between the, uh, the footage and the uh, trimming, and sometimes what happens is 
the line doesn't fall directly on a pixel. So what you can do to make that perfectly straight is turn off the uh, high quality switch for the layer. And that actually will just make it a perfect line. And uh, that looks pretty good. So, well, I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next time.